Hi, I'm Sean Quinn from Highland Radio. Today I'm on to talk about the upcoming Letterkenny Business Chamber Awards in 2022. I'm joined by Sinead Dooley, Head of Public Engagement with Airgrid, and Tony Forrester, the CEO of Letterkenny Chamber of Commerce. Ladies, you're both very welcome. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Tony, can I come to you first? Um, what is the idea behind the Letterkenny uh, Business Chamber Awards? So we've been running the awards for a number of years. Um, um, obviously back with a bang this year, having had to have two years off. Um, and really the idea behind it is celebrating business and celebrating everything there is good about business. So businesses trudge along all day, not trudge, it, but they work their business all day, they work at it all day. And we felt that there was a, a space in, in Donegal to celebrate that achievement. And you know, they you go out to see a business and they tell you a little bit about their business and all of a sudden it becomes this real thing. And when when we always say as marketers over the years, I've always said, put your awards up on your website. So when they get an award, they're very proud of it. Um and and even getting through part of this the process of it makes this achievement really worthwhile. So it's celebration, really, Sean. Yeah, and it's I suppose it's great. It's always great to celebrate success and progress. Um, I'm talking of progress. So we've gone through the nomination stage and it's now closed and it's been shortlisted. Um, and we come to the exciting part, which is the, the voting. So tell me more about the voting process and how that works. Yeah, so we have got the category down to three nominees um, who will go through to the final. So as a bit of engagement and um, to get the best out of this opportunity for our businesses, we open a poll on each category. So over the next week, two weeks, we will go through each category on our social medias and Highland social media and anywhere we can get the news out there. And uh, attached to each of those posts will be a poll. So you can vote for the, the, the people you like the best and you'll be able to vote. You only vote once, I think. Um, but you'll be able to vote and, and just who you like the best and you can vote in all categories. Um, so it's it's really it injects a bit of um, fun, injects a bit of engagement, and it also contributes a little bit to the winner. But we also wait, we have to wait that obviously we, you know you can't just um, let public because somebody who's good on social media will get big big polls. So we wait it a little bit, and then we look at those at about a week before the the closing the the event and see who's topped the polls. But it's it's it's. It's really good for our for engagement for all the businesses who who went to the bother of applying. Yeah, that sounds great. And and what we'll also do is we will use um, Highland Radio to encourage people to to go onto the social channels um, to vote. But we will make it clear that you can only vote once because I'd be party to maybe voting a couple of times for my friends. But don't <laughs> don't say anything there. We'll no. keep that between us. Sinead, um <laughs> Airgrid have become the principal sponsor for the Letterkenny Chamber Awards in 2022. Um, why did you decide to support the awards this year? Yeah, I look delighted to join yourself and, and Tony for this um, today as well. Going back to what Tony said, it's it's the awards celebrate the very best of business in Donegal. And this was a gives recognition to local businesses, showcases their success and, and gives them an opportunity to show how ambitious they are. It's been a tough couple of years, as we know, for businesses across the country and communities. And in Airgrid, it's supposed, we understand the importance of supporting local economies and communities and businesses and are there at the heart of everything we do. So, look, it's important for business to celebrate their achievements. Too often we all look at the negative in life. It's, it's a, I'm really looking forward to the event itself and to see all of the talent coming through. But it just it is nice to acknowledge the achievements. And we're just delighted to be able to be involved and support these awards in whatever way that we can. So we're delighted to be involved here, Sean. Yeah, and it's great to have you. Um, and I know that I was I I was. I wasn't a partner, but I helped uh, in the citizen roadshows that you did earlier this year mm. uh, in Donegal. And you got great crowds for that. It was phenomenal. And it was a great opportunity for you to talk about what Airgrid are doing. Um, how can these events create a foundation for more recognition of the work that Airgrid do in the community? Yeah, and I suppose, and, and you're right, the first word you used was partner, and you were a partner in it. And I think local radio, radio are hugely important, be it the promotion of Letterkenny Chamber of Commerce and what they're doing, or certainly in promoting of the events that we had held in, in Donegal. 
Yeah, which is which is fantastic. And I suppose the, the community feel and business feel, Tony, is is one of the biggest reasons why the business awards have been successful over the years. And they're well established at this stage. Just remind me of some of the categories that people can win on the, uh, the 11th of November. Yes, yeah, so we have a big wide range. We have uh, 12. And we have 14 awards, but we have 12 category ones that we talk about. And I suppose I pick out ones that um, are always really popular, business excellence. And that can be anything, but mostly it comes down to how people manage their business. And it's usually a business that's you know, a wee bit more mature, has grown, and, and they know how to, to get the best out of everything in their business and their processes are good. We have a, a one that we, we, we really like, the Community One Best Health, Best Community Health and Wellbeing Initiative. And that's all around how we improve the health of our community. It's great that we're able to get back into a room and we'll go into that in a little bit later. Sinead, just um, to, uh, Airgrid are also going to sponsoring the Sustainable Superstar category. Um, do you think your involvement as a, a brand in this particular category will encourage businesses to consider energy security and the part that they can play in the sustainability of the future energy needs? Yeah, I know, I suppose, well, Sean, given our role in delivering such the cleaner energy future and working up towards 80% of electricity coming from renewable energy by 2030, like we'd obviously love to see others playing their part too. So businesses these days are making the change um, to be more sustainable, both for climate purposes, but also for energy reasons. So in supporting these efforts, it's great to be especially involved with this category. That's great. And Tony, just... um. Just good look. Let's move forward now to the the actual event. So, tell me more about um, the actual chamber, the evening on the eleventh of November. What's what's going to happen? What can people look forward to? Okay, so we'll have our our um, lovely uh, drinks reception. As you come in, and um, it's a black tie event, so it's a uh, glamour and glitz. And we have seen some people on socials already saying, "Oh, I have to get a guy, I have to get a guy." Um, so we always enjoy that part of it. And once we have, we go in, we have dinner, a um, lovely dinner in the Mike Garrett Hotel, and um, then we'll start the awards. So we'll just we'll go through them fairly rapidly, the, the 12 and then the last two. Um, we'll have a few speeches and uh, our sponsors will be acknowledged. And at the end, you know, it's really just the celebration. And then there's um, a bit of dancing. You know, not everybody knows that. It's not just, it's not just speeches and talks <laughs> and awards. So there's a bit of dancing, a bit of fun. Um, and we always try and have it. All, it's a, it's a, it's an important celebration for us. And it's an important night for us. You know, we do have politicians and people like that come. But at the end of the day, this is about the businesses enjoying themselves. And people bring their staff, and people bring you know their friends and family. Um, and if we can enjoy that, so we'll go on to the ERs usually. So, but so it's what been a saying? while. So I don't, I don't know if we even know how to go out anymore. <laughs> so you're, what, what you're saying to me here basically is I have to go and hire a suit and I've got to go and get dancing lessons. Is that right? And clean your high heels, John. And yeah. clean what? Clean your high heels as well. We're back in the high heels for the oh, night. Well, I'll leave the high heels to you two <laughs> ladies now, in fairness. Yeah. And, and every, always, you know, the, it the sounds other thing, as though it's going to be a great night, Tony. Sounds yeah, the other crap. thing, Sean, is all our all our categories are sponsored as well. You know, so they all get to showcase themselves in the evening. The, the other thing, and I mean, I think people, we, we've all forgotten, I mean, in terms of the last couple of years that we've had, the businesses and families haven't had as many opportunities as they would have in the past to go out, be it Christmas lunches or Christmas dinner. Everything was put on hold. So in terms of giving it a plug, Tony, I'd be saying to every business in Donegal, it is a great opportunity to bring out your staff to acknowledge how difficult they've had it the last number of years. And I also, from being at those events, I love where you know your business person of the year and your hall of fame to see families coming back together i know they obviously know a little bit in advance so that is a lovely opportunity because normally you have people who've contributed hugely to society in terms of you know employment and 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 contributing to the society so it really is a lovely chance to see all of the family getting together to acknowledge one of their own and sean said earlier for your peers to acknowledge you is the key thing here that you're, you know, for anybody else to say it, but for your own people in the area to vote for you to be the best business on the night is is a huge, huge attribute. Very busy few weeks ahead. Um, you're going to uh, visit in the shortlisted businesses. Um, I want to wish you and the judges the very best of luck in the coming weeks. It's no mean feat uh, trying to decide on the winners in each category. I don't envy you. I'm glad I'm not part of that process. Um, Sinead, I'm sure Tony will join me in thanking you uh, and Airgrid for your support. And uh, we look forward to hearing more about the plans and opportunities of Airgrid you have in the coming months and years. 
Um, and we look forward to welcoming you in, in person to Donegal on Friday the 11th of November. And I think it will be a celebration, a brilliant night of entertainment. Uh, so for this, Tony uh, Forrester, the CEO of Letterkenny Chamber of Commerce, thank you for joining me. And Sinead Dooley, Head of Commun uh, Publications with Airgrid, also thank you for joining me. Before I go, just to let people know that tickets are available for the Business Awards at info at letterkennychamber.com. And Tony, is there a phone number that you can ring as well? 074? 9124866. And come in early and buy early and you're guaranteed to have a seat on the evening. Ladies, okay. thank you for joining me. Looking forward to it. See you then. Thank Thanks you so much, Sean. Well, Thanks.